Okay, so if you look here, I have an expression 3 plus 2 square roots of 5 times 3 minus 2 square roots of 5. It's obviously a binomial two terms times a binomial two terms. If we followed order of operations, we could not do what's inside because we can't add and subtract these terms. They're not alike. You can add 3 plus 2 and make 5 because it's not 3 plus 2. It's 3 plus 2 square roots of 5, and they're not alike. This is a whole number. This is a radical. So we can't do what's inside. So now we need to multiply. But we have two terms times two terms, which is a binomial times a binomial. So to distribute correctly, we do FOIL. So I'm going to write our letters first, outer, inner, last. You know me. If we do FOIL correctly, we should make a smiley face. I'm going to put my little eyeballs. And we're going to make our smiley man. So the first comes as eyebrow. First term, 3 times 3 is 9. Out of term is his mouth. 3 times negative 2 square root of 5. This is a whole number on the outside. This is a whole number on the outside. This is not. So 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, and then you have to write the square root of 5. You can't multiply that and make it 30. All right? The inside is his nose. Okay, positive 2 square roots of 5 times 3. Again, that 2 is positive, it's on the outside. That 3 is positive, it's on the outside. Positive 2 times positive 3 is positive 6 with a square root of 5. Last is his other eyebrow. 2 square roots of 5 times negative 2 square roots of 5. We've been through this. We're multiplying, not subtracting. A positive times a negative is a negative. 2 times 2 is 4. Square root of 5 times square root of 5, we can multiply that and we'll get square root of 25. So there are four, four terms we're doing FOIL. But now we have to continue. Usually when we do FOIL we have terms that are alike. What makes a radical alike? The radicand. It has to be exactly alike. Sure enough, we have two radicands that are alike. Square root of 5 and square root of 5 are identical. What happens if you have a negative 6 and a positive 6 and put that together? Well, you would subtract and make 0. Do you really think in math we are going to write 0 square root of 5? No. There's nothing there. There are no square roots. So they cancel out. Remember, these terms are called additive inverses. We added the opposite. It canceled it out. So now we have a 9 minus 4 square roots 25. Is that our final answer? No way. We have a square root symbol. We have to break down this root. If we follow, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, anything in a root, anything in a grouping symbol has to be broken down. What do we know about 25? Hey, it's on the perfect square list, so we know that. We know the square root of 25 is 5. So now this becomes 9 minus 4 times 5. So again, according to please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, order of operations, do we subtract the 9 and 4 first, or do we multiply the 4 and 5? We multiply. So this becomes 9 minus 20, and 9 minus 20 means this answer is negative 11 for the product. That's pretty cool that we multiplied a binomial with a radical times a binomial with a radical, and we got a integer. Now, let's review something. If you remember from polynomial land, what do you call two binomials that have the same terms, but middle symbols are opposite? We both had the terms 3. We both had the terms 2 square roots of 5. One was positive, one was negative. Remember, those were called what? Good, conjugates. And we learned a trick in polynomial land. When we multiply binomials that are conjugates, we don't have to do first, outer, inner, last. Because we know when we multiply conjugates, the outers and the inners are always going to cancel. So we multiply conjugates, we just do the first and last. And you can still use that rule here in rational world, in radical world. 
Because in radical world, these are still conjugates. They're binomials with the same terms connected in the middle with opposite signs. So you could have looked here and said, oh, first term, 3 times 3 is 9. Last term, positive 2 square root of 5 times negative 2 square root of 5. Positive 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Square root of 5 times square root of 5 is square root of 25. And that would have got you to 9 minus 4 times 5. 9 minus 20, negative 11. So don't forget that cute little shortcut. Okay, still got more multiplying to come.